Hey there guys, Portal Master 9351 here, and this video is just going to be a bit of a hodgepodge of some E3 information that we have so far. So as you can see, I'm just going to start right here and jump on into things. This right here is the official toy form of Dive Clocks, and he looks pretty darn cool if I do say so myself. Um, he's obviously in his metal suit, and he has a rocket torpedo gun thing. So, I'm um, just going to briefly go over his attacks. His primary attack, if it wasn't obvious enough, is shooting his little torpedo gun, like, pew, 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 pew. except the rockets are very big, and they kind of, um, they home in on things. And so, if you shoot it without a target, the missiles will just roam around the level, uh, not the level, but it'll just kind of, um, go in a circle around you. Um, his third attack, I'll talk about his second attack in a moment, but his third attack is a sonar blast, similar to what we've seen on Dive Bomber, and he just shoots it out from himself, and it locks the missiles onto a particular target, and any residual missiles that you just shot will automatically readjust their aim, um, and they will hone, hone in on the enemies. Um, or you can go ahead and blast them with the sonar and then shoot your gun, and then your missiles will target the enemies from there. His uh, second attack is he opens up his hatch, which is right here. He opens that up, and he shoots a jet of water out of his eye. Um, some interesting lore, he is actually Eyebrawl's cousin. One took to land, one took to sea, so that's interesting. Um, I'm also not sure how he can be Avril's cousin. I suppose he's the cousin of the flying eye, um, and not the cousin of the rest of the body, since Avril is technically two creatures put together. So, I don't know. Here is his official artwork. Credit goes to Family Gamer TV. Let me blow this thing up in full screen. Uh, there you can see Dive Clops in his artwork and such. Um... And then I'm going to come to here. This is uh, Skylander Supercharges Chargers Terrafin. Um, and this is really not a good picture of him, but I'm not sure where these images were found. So I had to take what I could get. Um, he is called, uh, let me think, what is he called? Let me pull that up on Dark Sky because I actually kind of forgot what he was called. Um, he is called Sharkshooter Terrafin. That's what he's called, Sharkshooter Terrafin. Um, he has these three barrels right here, and he shoots sharks out of there as his primary. Um, his secondary attack seems to be um, he takes his cannon, shoves it down to the ground, not into the ground, but he points it at the ground and kind of uses it and kind of blows the ground up, sort of, is the best way to describe it. And then, of course, uh, being Terrafin, he can, of course, go underground, so that's cool. And he did seem to have a few melee spin attacks, so he could spin around and whack the people with his uh, arm cannon right there. Uh, next up is uh, the new guild grunt, which at first I was kind of in denial that we might have a new guild grunt because I really didn't want him. But after seeing his attacks, I'm really warming up to him. He's called Deep Dive Guild Grunt, I believe. And so instead of having his uh, water gun torpedo thing, he now has a trident. Um, in this, it's a trident. But in other ones, it actually ends up with five uh, pokey things. And he can kind of get in there, and he can whip it around really fast and uh, do some quick attacks on the enemies and such. His uh, secondary attack um, is some sort of wave, and his um, he also can do some things on his uh, jet back. I'm not or jet pack. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not sure if the jet pack is, thing is an actual move or if it's just the fact that he can. Um, or when you double jump, because, you know, um, in Trap Team, if you double jumped, it automatically would let your character fly. So I'm not sure which it was. The Sky Dad wasn't exactly giving us a 100% play-by-play. Um, Gilgrunt's uh, vehicle is the suspected vehicle that we originally thought might be his, and it is called the Reef Ripper, and it's the same fish thing. This is not supercharged, this image you see right here. Again, I do apologize for the size, because it's really hard to make out. But it's just essentially a fish-shaped submarine, and it's very, um, it's, honestly, it's kind of basic. Um, and its movable part is the fin. The fin flaps back and forth. Here is uh, a nice picture of the sea shadow, um, and again, it's really not that good, and I do apologize for it. But here is a, a clear, clear image when it's small, 
it's clear, but when you enlarge it, it obviously gets pixelated. But um, it, it, it definitely looks to be interesting. Um, and then I kind of, here's, here's pretty much all the characters that we currently know. Uh, we know, of course, Spitfire, Erupt War, Hammer Slam, Bowser, Stormblade, Hurricane Jetpack, Super Shot, Stealth Elf, Turbo Charge, Donkey Kong, uh, Sharp Shooter, Terrafin, Double Dare, Trigger Happy, Dive Club, Sneak Dive, Gil Grunt, Fiesta, Roller Brawl, Series, um, Supercharger thing, um, Nightfall, and that, uh, the Goat in the Boat, and then here are all the vehicles that we know. I'm not going to read all over them, just for time's sake. Um, I would like to show you this. This is a listing of the E3 exclusive vehicle on eBay. I would not buy it for $200 because that's how much the Shield Shredder trap went for originally. And then it went down like a lot. And with the Shield Shredder trap you could get for like $120, bucks. it's not worth but maybe $30 now. Um, so here you can see a nice shot of it. You can obviously see that, um, in not, not in this picture, but there was another picture posted. And if you can see um, that, you can see that um, uh, hot, uh, sorry, uh, Spitfire appears to be in the artwork. And if it's viewed from um, just looking at it straight on, it appears as if Spitfire is actually in the vehicle. Um, so there's that. And this gives us our first look at the Supercharger's packaging. Um, it will have a slanted top, so I'm kind of curious to see how it will display um, weight-wise, if I, you know, put it on a peg hook, put, or if, not particularly that one, but if I take a vehicle uh, that's a variant and put it on a peg hook in my room, I'm kind of wondering what it will look like if it'll actually stay uh, straight or if it will fall over. But the most interesting thing I want to take your eye, uh, put your eyes on, is this right here. Um, this is a sticker, it appears to be. There was originally some fear that the stickers might that the stickers and the cards might not be returning, but I think we can at least confirm that this is a sticker and that they will be returning. I am kind of concerned that the cards won't return. I really liked the cards, and I was really planning on using the cards since there were only going to be 20 uh, vehicles and characters this time around. I was actually going to use the cards, so I really hope that we just can't see it, but it's not looking too good right now in terms of that. Um, I also wanted to share some information that I actually neglected to give you earlier. Um, this is actually a topic that I started, um, and and uh, someone posted the press release. Actually, it was Dark, any uh, Dark Fifty Two, which is the runner of which the, the la, 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 is the admin of Dark Spiral. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go fast. Um, and he says in Skylander Superchargers, the evil chaos has unleashed the darkness to take control of Skyland. So that that's interesting, and I'll have some discussion on that. Fortunately, a special team of Skylanders known as the Superchargers has been assembled to pilot an incredible fleet of vehicles with the power to travel through the destruction over land, sea, and sky. But with Skylands on the verge of collapse, the Skylanders have reached out across all dimensions to call for reinforcements. Answering the call is the most unexpected duo, Donkey Kong and Bowser. Using the most their own elite vehicles to magically travel between worlds, they have joined the epic battle against chaos and the darkness. So, essentially, they're from another dimension. And if anyone has a problem with this statement, it's, uh, I would like to point out that Spyro is not from Skylands either, so if you don't have a problem with Spyro not being from Skylands, then you shouldn't have a problem with these guys. Um, I'm just kind of interested to see if there's, I mean, we could see some other crossovers here. I mean, we now know that crossovers can occur between the universes, so it's going to be very interesting to see if we see more crossovers in the future. Uh, my understanding, though, is that it's only going to be Donkey Kong and Bowser in terms of this particular crossover, but, you know, we could possibly see more Amiibo landers in the future, halflings. So, anyways, um, but as this guy said, it still doesn't explain why they're on the good side. Uh, the main theory is that Chaos would come and attack their worlds if they didn't help defend it in um, Skylands. But, anyways, that's all for now. I think there's going to be more, but I don't think any more today. It seems like we're getting a multi-step embargo reveal release thing because we got, you know, we got Fiesta um, earlier today, and now we're getting this, and we'll probably get some more stuff later today or, or, to, or tomorrow or the next day because E3 runs for the next two days. But anyways, that's all for now, guys. This has been Portal Master 9351. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.